everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an empties video or a products I've used up. I've never done um, this type of video before, but I think they're really interesting because I think they're really interesting because um, it's a lot different than like a first impressions type of video. I think whenever you have completely used up a product, you kind of become like an expert on it. And so by the end of a product, you kind of know whether you like it or not. So I'm just going to show you um, a lot of the products that I have used up recently. And I think most of them are all products that I've uh, really liked. So the first product I have used up is the Swap Professional Keratin Infusion um, Color Care Shampoo. Um, I like these. They're really inexpensive. They smell really good. I like them um, a lot. They just make my hair feel really soft and it doesn't leave it feeling frizzy or anything. But um, it's supposed to be for color treated and frizzy hair. It claims that it will make your hair more vibrant, it will control frizz, and it will smooth and make your hair more manageable. I, I don't really pay attention to like claims like that a whole lot, but it does make my hair feel really smooth. Um, and I've got the conditioner one that I'm almost done with, but um, really cheap and expensive. I know people say that cheap hair um, products like shampoo and conditioner aren't good for your hair, but whatever. And I actually have like a, um, a few shampoos to show you because, um, I don't know, it's like every time I go to the store and like if I have like half a bottle of shampoo left, I want to get another one. And I like trying new shampoos and conditioners a lot, so um, I have... A few shampoos. The next shampoo I used up is the Organics Hydrating Macadamia Oil Shampoo. I also had the conditioner. I used that one up a long time ago. And I also like to um, switch up what shampoos I use. And I just kind of switch back and forth and whatever I want to use that day. So this one is the Macadamia Oil one. And as you can see, it has a very similar color, um, color scheme going on. It looks a lot like the, um, I think it's just called like Macadamia um, hair products or whatever. You, everyone's seen those. The kind. Everyone's seen them. Um, this one smells really good too. I really like Organics products and they're not too expensive. I think they're probably about like six or seven dollars for one, but I usually get them when they're like buy one get one free or buy one get one fifty percent off or um, sometimes they'll have like buy the shampoo and conditioner and get a free styling product. So I um, that's when I typically get these, but um, I've tried a lot of them and this one's really good another one it just makes my hair feel really good and it smells good and yeah this one is also a good one um, because it is sulfate free it says it will smooth your hair and it says it strengthens it so um, yeah like I said I don't pay attention to stuff like that but um, it smells good and makes my hair feel good so that's all I care about this next product I used up um, I actually kind of it took me a long time to use it up because I'm not crazy about it and I finally got rid of it. Um, it is the J. Hermac Distinction Silver Plus um, Angel Shampoo. It is a purple shampoo. There's not really any left in here to show you, but this was, I think, like, I think you get it for like $3 at Walmart and I think I saw it for like $5 at Walgreens, so... Um, if you want to get this, I would suggest Walmart. Um, this was the first purple shampoo I've ever tried, and um, I went blonde in October, and then I bought this to use to kind of help get rid of some of the brassiness because my hair was red before, so it had a lot of orange and red and goldy tones in it, and it still does, but it's definitely a lot more toned down than it was when I first got my hair done. I guess I did see some improvement with my hair color, um, using this product, but it just wasn't the best purple shampoo I ever had. It's whenever you get like a purple shampoo, you want one that is really, um, really kind of dark and dense. And this one really didn't have that much um, purple to it. So this was a cheap one. It worked okay. It's not my favorite, and I probably won't be rebuying it because I have found one I really love. This one I haven't used up. I'm just showing it for reference and everything. But what I use right now is the Shimmer Light shampoo. Um, for blonde and silver hair. It's basically the same thing. It is a um, purple shampoo uh, used to counteract the brassiness in blonde hair. I got this from Sally's and I think that there is a slightly cheaper one that's supposed to be just as good as the the Shimmer Lights one. This is Clairol brand. I think there was like a a little less expensive one. I, ha I didn't see it. I would have got that one. But this 
this one is amazing. It was um, $9.69 at Sally's and it is 16 fluid ounces and I have been using this for probably about two months and the thing with purple shampoo is you don't really want to use it every time you wash your hair. This I just kind of use it every probably like maybe once or twice every three weeks. So it's definitely a shampoo that will last longer and this one has just done so much more for my hair. I have noticed that it um, just does a much better job at getting rid of the yellow brassiness in it. So this was like the best way I could possibly show how dark the shampoo is, but it's a really dark purple and um, the darker the better, the more it will actually work for your hair. This one, um, there's not any left in it, so I was going to try to compare it and show you how different the color is, but there is just none left, so I can't really show you. And continuing with the whole purple hair shampoo, stuff like that, um, this is actually a uh, conditioner. It is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Color Renew Conditioner. I got it at Walgreens and they didn't have the shampoo but they just had the conditioner and I wanted to try the shampoo and see like if it was darker or lighter or more pigmented or whatever I wanted to see if it how it would compare to the Clairol shimmer lights but they just had the conditioner so I got the conditioner and I tried it I honestly don't think this did much for my hair I don't know if you can see but there's just a tiny bit left it's a really like clear conditioner it's just barely barely tinted purple and it's um, it says it's supposed to refresh your color like in three uses I probably wouldn't recommend this just because I honestly don't think it did anything for my hair it smells good it made my hair feel soft like most conditioners do um, but as far as um, tone correcting I don't really I honestly don't know if this did much especially since it's like it's like a almost a clear um, conditioner that's like tinted barely periwinkle color so um, not a good product not a bad product um, I'm kind of stuck between this one next product I've used up a lot of these are like all like my toiletry products um, I guess I just go through those the fastest but um, it is the skin to mint moisturizing shaving gel it is in the color raspberry rain um, just a foamy shaving cream I like it smells good cheap and yeah don't really have much to say about it um another hair product that I have been loving and using up is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray it looks like this and um, what it is kind of designed to do is you spray it in your roots and then you use a heat tool like a hair dryer or a straight iron and um, you apply heat to that area wherever you applied it and it's supposed to help um, lighten your roots and kind of get you in between um, dyes. So since um, bleaching your hair is really really damaging no matter what you do, what you use, no matter what it's just damaging your hair and um, the less often you can go or the less, the longer in between that you can go without bleaching your hair so much, the better for your hair it is. So this is a really, um, it's, I would probably say this is probably still damaging to your hair, but I definitely think it is a less damaging product. Um, I don't know if this works on darker hair. Um, I've seen a few reviews and, um, like girls who had like maybe like a lighter brown hair color I think this you they use this and it like worked for them to maybe give them highlights um, I just used it on my roots and stuff so it kind of helps lighten it it definitely doesn't make it match my hair as you can see I've got like some roots coming in it definitely doesn't match it but um, I definitely think it has helped um, lighten my roots a bit and kind of help me go longer in between um, dye jobs and stuff. So right here down is when I originally bleached my hair um, when I got it done in a salon to get my hair blonde. How much is um, all the new growth and you can see it doesn't match exactly but it's definitely lightened it um, significantly because if you see right here at the top this is a bit darker and um, this has really helped uh, lighten the roots and stuff so that it's not as 
dark or noticeable because I have naturally brown hair and I haven't seen my natural hair color in so long with the exception of like roots and stuff in between dyeing my hair. My next product, this is actually something that I've had in my bathroom cabinet for probably like a year or two or three. I honestly don't know. Um, it is the Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush. Um, what they, they call it a body drink lotion. And it's in the scent uh, Plum Drop. And it smells really good. Um, I My favorite one of all time is like the Juiced Berry one. I don't even know if they still have these, do they? I don't know. I haven't been to Victoria's Secret in um, a while. Um, really good smelling lotions make your skin feel good. I don't know. It's a lotion. It doesn't do anything miraculous for me, but um, it smells good. The scent stays on for a while. The thing I hate is like how it opens because I will set it down and it'll like open itself all the time and then oh, it just aggravates me. And then every single time I've used this, I end up getting lotion like all over my shirt when I squirt it out and it pisses me off. Another Victoria's Secret product is the Coconut Passion um, Perfume. I have just like the tiniest bit left but I don't know how to get it out because the the little uh, perfume tube like won't reach that far. I don't get why they do that. But I got a teeny bit left. Um, I love these perfumes a lot. They're, um, the only time I buy them is like holiday season, whenever you can get like six for fifteen dollars or something. I don't know. I, I just that was an arbitrary number and quantity. So when you get them all like bundled, like six for however much or you know whatever, I think they're um, really good and they're good for gifts. I always like to give these out for like um, Christmas presents, to, like my friends or whatever. And it's just um, a really good smelling perfume. They last a long time and yeah. And the next product I have is from Bath & Body Works. It is the True Blue Spa Sheer Cashmere and Silk Body Cream Body Lotion Shea Butter. I think that I think it's a um, like a body butter. Um, I got this from actually my mom got this for um, her birthday from her sister. Um, I think two years ago, and my mom never used it. She's just not a huge like lotion person and if she does she likes the unscented lotion she's really weird but it smells amazing it smells so good this is like the best like shea butter body butter 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 for your body ever it smells so good it's um shea cashmere and silk I don't really know what silk smells like but to me it smells a lot like um like cherry almond or something like that. It smells so good and it's so strong. Like it stays on your body for like days until you shower. And unfortunately it kind of dried up and got really gross looking, but it's a huge pot and it lasted forever. Um, like I said, my mom got this in like 2011 and I was just, oh, I'm in love with it. These are 1750, so they are a little bit pricey, but they're ginormous and you don't need to use a whole lot whenever you apply it because it is just so rich and it makes my skin feel amazing. The next product I've used up is this um, liquid eyeliner from Ulta and it came in one of their Ulta, um, I think it was one of their like big sets, like box sets that they have a lot and it was, um, it came with that and um, I really like it. picked this one up because I had it in my collection already and I just never used it. So I started using this one and it is an amazing liquid eyeliner. I love it and it has a brush tip applicator. I'm trying to use up as much as I can but it's pretty much empty and there's nothing else I can get out of it. And I don't know if they actually sell these. I think this is just like, I think this just might be like a wholesale product or a generic product that they just slap their names on and put in a kit because they're I don't know why but um, I'm pretty positive that Ulta their little box set kits value whatchamacallits um, it's not the same as the makeup they have in their actual like legit line like the eyeshadow some I have uh, come across that are really good and then some 
are like terrible and it's just not very good quality. So this value box things, I don't really like those very much. So that is it for my empty slash products I've used up video. I definitely will be doing more of these in the future. Um, it'll probably be um, maybe a few more months until the next one because um, I don't go through a whole lot of products in a really short amount of time. All of this I have probably used up within the last six months maybe. So, But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram. I'll have the links in the description. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.